Hey, good morning, everyone. I wanted to, well, okay, so I was on the Facebook page and I saw a couple of you ask some questions around the Ikigai um, illustration I shared this morning. And it was enough for me to want to jump on and do a quick video to help you uh, work through and explain it because the whole purpose of Monday Morning Mojo is, is for you to get the tools you need to move forward. That's, that's why I do it. So if, if something is challenging you, then I want to help you. Um, and, you know, I haven't said this before, um, and, and this is not the purpose of it either, but if any of you are, are really looking, if some of these Monday Morning Mojos have got you thinking that you really need uh, some, some specific support, to help you move forward with your goals, uh, and you think coaching may be an option, you know, I am a, I am a coach, so I am available, uh, you know, if you would like to talk to me about what that would look like, what it would look like to hire me as a coach. That's not the purpose of Monday Morning Mojo, but I just want to put it out there in case any of you are, are really thinking about that. Um, okay, so I'm going to share my screen. All right. So this is the illustration I shared this morning, and it's a little different than the graphic I used in uh, Monday morning session. So if you were on Zoom with me Monday, or if you've watched the recording, uh, it was a little different. I found this and I like this one um, better. And um, here, here is how this works, right? So Ikigai is a Japanese term or concept. And what it means is literally translates into a reason for being. So Monday, our topic was finding our purpose. And I think this is a good way for you to work through some questions. It's an exercise to help you gather information so that you can really get on the path to finding your purpose and living the life that you really want to have. And the, the life that I think you were divinely created to, to live. So you start with four questions. And the questions are here on the outside. I'm hoping that you can see my mouse move around here like a pointer. Um, so the first question you ask yourself is, what am I good at? And as you ask that question and, and write these answers down, you're gonna identify uh, probably what you're doing in your job. That's why this says profession, okay? And you're going to also probably, um, if you really open your thinking to the question, you're gonna identify some things that you might do recreationally well or sports, and, and that could be more um, outside of your profession or into your passion, okay? And you see how things are overlapping, right? Because that is the way we, we see things show up in our world and in our life, things overlap. We don't tend to stay in just one lane. So as you work on this, really dig deep to pull the um, layers back a little bit. The next question you're going to ask yourself is, what do I love to do? <clears throat> so again, what you love to do may not necessarily be what you do for a living, uh, unless you're really blessed, um, like a lot of us are. Um, I do work for, um, I do, I do work, or my profession is, is certainly what I love, right? So However, a lot of us, we, we tend to have that outside of our work. So what is it that you really love to do, to be around, to experience? That's where you're gonna find some more of your passion, certainly. And when you really examine what you love deep down inside, you might find that to be on a very deep emotional level, spiritual level, and it, it could start to reveal things around contribution, and what you like to do to make the world a better place. And so that really starts to line up with more of a mission, right? More of a mission. And the next question you're gonna ask yourself is what does the world need? And it's, it's certainly gonna be a, a question that is rhetorical or unique to you. Um, in your perception, in your experience, what is it that you think the world needs right now? Is it more love? Is it more compassion? Um, is it more leadership? Um, and as you explore that, do you find that those answers overlap with some things you revealed about your mission and what you love? Which, which really goes back over here, because what you're good at 
certainly is, is overlapping or becomes what you love. And, and those things start to show up in what you can identify with what the world needs. And is that an opportunity for you to contribute and have that turn into more of a, a vocation, right? And then the, the, the fourth question, you, you, again, building on all of this, based on what you've revealed around what you're good at, what you love, where your passion lies, where your mission really is, where, you know, what you think the world needs, what kind of vocation or calling on your life does that reveal? Can you turn all of that into an opportunity? What could you get paid to do? Could it be consulting, coaching, speaking, writing, teaching, research and development? Could it be um, something artistic? Could it be um, engineering? Could it be biological? Could it be medical? Right? So again, unique to all of us. Could it be um, uh, something that is more about exploration, discovery? Um, and what is it that you could be paid to do? Now, in here, in these inner areas, right, um, you're going to also check in, I think, with some emotions, right? That's what this is representing. So again, as you work around the circle, you'll see a guide here, right? So, so as you examine what you're good at and you reveal how that shows up in your work and in your passions, um, do you find satisfaction there? Do you find satisfaction but feeling of some uselessness? In other words, is it revealing to you that you could do more or you could do something more meaningful? And then here, right, as you move into what you love and it starts to identify passion and mission, um, is, is that bringing you delight, happiness, fulfillment, um, but no wealth? And, you know, I want to give you permission to use this as an opportunity to build wealth. You know, I mean, if you, here's the premise, guys. If you can identify what you're good at, what you love to do, and line that up with what the world needs, and then you have an opportunity to, to get in a lane where you can be not just recognized and contribute, you know, for that, but you can turn that into a career or a business and get paid for that. When your worlds line up like that, you know, that's really living life uh, at a high level. And so it's okay to say that you have a gift, a passion, you have um, a purpose in life that you want to be compensated for, right? So if, if you can explore these questions, can it lead you into opening up more opportunity for you? Maybe for some of you even, you know, jumping to a different career path or adding some opportunities to your existing career path in business. Now, this takes time, as I mentioned Monday morning. This is something that you'll work on for, um, you know, perhaps several hours, maybe even days. And, and it, it may even take weeks and time to really develop this. Um, and that's the only reason why I mentioned a few minutes ago, if you need someone to talk it through, let me know. Um, but uh, this, this is how you would use this, this illustration, the Ikigai. Um, so I hope that you found that helpful. Um, I know that the first two weeks I've given you a lot to think about, a lot to digest. Um, we're going to build on this from here going forward every Monday morning, but I will um, start to dial back a little bit of the, of the work because I think that you're going to work on some of the first two weeks that we've um, introduced for a while. And so we're going to maybe lighten it up a little bit. And so I look forward to seeing you guys Monday morning. And remember, if you can't join us Monday, uh, make sure that you do watch the recording. I share it on the Facebook group and you can find it on my YouTube channel. Uh, and it's, it's, I think you can find me just by looking um, for Anna Gibbs on YouTube. So Hopefully this helped. I would love your comments uh, so I know that you're um, finding that this is useful. Have a great day.